he was a benign despot. I mean, but uh, we knew uh, that he, you couldn't talk him into anything. If he didn't think a thing was funny, once in a while we'd talk him into something. And, and if, you, <laughs> if you didn't make it, he'd give you such a look, he would wither you. But uh, most of the time, he, he was the, a writer in the room. And so he, everything that went into the paper, if he didn't like it, he would shoot it out of the air with an imaginary machine gun. But I think Sid was most comfortable in character for a long time. I, you want me to give you a cheap analysis? Uh, he wasn't uh, handled right as a kid by his parents and his brothers. They called him, he told me this once. He, he said my middle name was Shtick Drek. Mm. And uh, he was the youngest, and they, he didn't get a lot of attention. And uh, so he, he didn't develop those social skills that most people have, but he could act the social skills. He could become Cary Grant if you wanted. If you said you're now doing a Cary Grant movie or you're doing Marlon Brando, give him a character. It's like the clown who can't be funny unless he puts a clown face on. But he was a, more than just a clown. He was a great acting comedian. Well, Imogene Coco was, I, I consider her one of the strongest human beings I've ever seen. Frail little thing. She had, she worked harder than any of us because not only was she doing sketches, she was doing musical numbers and dances with Jimmy Starbuck and she loved that. She was a, 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 a not a failed ballet dancer, but she did have ballet as a kid and she could dance, really dance. And so she was working very hard and she and Sid never talked to each other hardly. They were like each other, but they were both so shy until they got into their material, and then they used to scream and yell, and, and then be quiet. They, you know, very good, very good. You know, it was uh, it was a, a, a wonderful uh, screen marriage. I mean, television marriage. But they they were two shy people who had never made it outside of uh, the, the the theater.